off for Ultra Eagle for Nile. So now, first phase of picks and bans concluded. Hmm. Second phase we go. A lot of bans still up in the cards, maybe just trying to thin down the choices for Sans in that mid lane. You know what I'm concerned, what I'm curious about actually? Mm -hmm. If you're trying to go with the Sacred Hammer, yeah. And then Alpha uses the Spear of Alpha onto you. Who who moves backwards, <laughs> right? How does that interaction work? Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing that in the Land of Dawn. But as of right now, a lot of pickup potential right here. Because, again, if you are in the jungle with a carry, you can't really go for the Purify. Alpha has a lot of sustain, but if he gets imploded and then immediately bursts it down, there's so much more burst potential for Onyx. And we talked mm. about the high maneuverability, high mobility kind of strat. Damage, burst damage works really well with the mobility because you get in, you do some damage, and you get out before you can get locked into a struggle. So all three go, they have the Ruby, but I think they need something else here to ensure that the Akarith, the Nolan, all of these fast-moving heroes can stay in place for the Zask, uh, for the Alpha, to really output all that damage potential. Yeah, they need the lockdown to keep these it. mobile heroes Your keep on moving, but bad. of course the Aurora and Valentina banned out, like how we mentioned, power picks for Sans, in particular that, all, that Aurora on, would be a good Dexter. pick against the Zask, so is nice. the Valentina, but they take out the Claude. Huh. So Stabilizer against the Aerith. Arlet? Ooh, Arlet mm. for Alter Ego. I think it's a viable option. Ruby mm -hmm. and Arlet is flex out the jungle, right? And uh, you mentioned how they want to control the crowd and final slash. Well, knowing Nino though, he might go for the Terrizla instead. Good sustainability, especially if you don't expect to be the one burst it down. Body of Smith can help with that too. But in the gold lane, I, I do wonder what it's going to be, right? Something that has some security against the assassin. Oh, okay. I was thinking maybe something like a Bruno, right? We saw how uh, earlier the, the, the Bruno was able to actually be a bit of a nuisance, right? With the small micro card control tools available. But they go for the carry here with more movement, more movement abilities and a chance to really nuke someone down. They really want to <laughs> talk about this, but of course, a little fact here, throughout MPL ID Season 14, from a total of 35 games played, Chip has been banned 34 times with a rate of 97.14%. That's a that's a very high ban rate for, for Chip. Massive ban Still rate. relevant. Even over the low yeet, it used to be mm -hmm. the premier pick in the league. But with the Faramis and Edith, man, the long team fight from Fnatic Onyx now has potential too. They got good catch, good disengage, safety tool, sustainability with the Nether Realm, but also burst damage. So they are a lot more flexible right here. Whereas for Alter Ego, it's all about the long fights. And with two true damage tools, they can burst someone down. But now the Nether Realm is a concern. They have to get something they can kind of capitalize on the grouping together. Ooh. But no, they go for the Benedetta. Oh, yes. Maybe oh, yes. trying to use this Benedetta to force out the Nether Realm before the fight begins. Benedetta. Interesting. Benedetta. Very, a very good carry as well. If you if you need that damage late game and baiting out the Nether Realm as well from Fnatic Onic. Now of course for Ultra Ego. Very well known for interesting drafts, and how does this Benedetta want to approach the game today? Maybe it's gonna be a bit more of a split push situation. A lot of 1v1 potential, but it depends on who actually gets to use uh, this Benedetta. Looking at the uh, stats right here, it's Nino actually in the EXP lane. A lot more damage potential for Alter Ego, but the survivability Ooh. kind of negates that from Fnatic Onic. So it comes down to execution. And I really do feel it comes down to whether or not the Nether Realm can be forced out. Whether Sans can maintain a good distance management to ensure that he can come in at the right time only. Here we go. Will the Sky Kings once again fall on the throne? Or will El Familia again be broken apart into two? Match number two and match of the day. Welcome it's Fnatic Onyx against Alter Ego. Who will take the first points? Of the series, will Onik, yeah, finally find their rhythm, or will Alter Ego with Niall, of course, finds that dub against his former team? Looking at the respect here from both teams, the gold lane and the mid lane have the uh, the purify. Sans, though, with Keyboy, are having the push advantage. So Owen kind of having to be a bit more careful here. Not level two just yet. So is Keyboy. They got an early aggression there from Nino. Trying to be active. Trying to go for the Litho here. Whoa! Oh, good two-man pressure fine now with...
Benedetta earlier, so that's already in foul. And yeah, Fnatic on it here. Trying to stabilize. Ooh. Sounds very low as well. They're already grouping up, trying to instill chaos. And you could take a look at the brawl potential that Alter Ego has early games. So Fnatic Onik, will they have to stay a bit more passive in their early games? I feel like they have to respect the damage potential for sure. Burst is something that Alter Ego have in the early game. So looking at the emblems by Indy Home, you can see why there are three tenacities on the side of Onik. They want to make sure they can survive. Inspire though for CW, it's more extra survivability and technically extra damage as well. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the emblems though for Benedetta and Alpha, it's gonna be Assassin and they want to have some damage, they want to be aggressive. So on to level 4, I really do feel like Fnatic Onik has to be a bit more careful because their main playmaking tools is that are those ultimates. A little ignition in the hands of Nino as well, looking to just ex expend more damage in the Benedetta. Now Sans already rotating up top, they want to limit the movements of this Benedetta in the hands of Nino, but this turtle Fight and dance could start very soon. Yeah, Flicker now with Luffy. Now, though, we'll find the, the turtle no problem. Now, so wants to fight here. Oh, could petrify oh. as Luffy was stuck. Oh. And now, Keyboy with the Flicker taken hammer will find the jungler. Now, let's Keyboy. see with Owen. Keyboy very low. Rondo will secure it. The backside of oh. Gary picks up the double. No problem. Great fight for Sada Onik there. They did not get the initial objective, but they kind of equalized. They came out on top, but look at his damage! Yeah, Ooh. that's the Purify spent. Still, Fnatic Onik still able to find a better trade after that first little fight. A lot of damage there. Talent prediction, spy the new application, go pay. Whoa. We are divided English and Indonesia. We're all predicting Fnatic Onik, they're going for Alter Ego. So, of course, this is the clash of the languages. <laughs> Fortunately for us, we are on the side of Onik, by the way, so we are not getting a lot of glances. But for now, let's see how this plays out, because Niall definitely has some aggression to throw around when he's this fighter, right? When he's more sustainable compared to Kyrie. And you're seeing Kyrie having to kind of rotate around before joining these fights, trying to find the small windows to come in and, you know, initiate and kind of swing the tides in favor of Fnatic Onik. But now my question is, how do Fnatic Onik address the nightmaric spawns? I mean, it's very, very... You know, pesky to deal with, especially when you, when you don't have that much of a wave clear in the hands of Sans. Maybe it, he can with the Ghost Bursters, but again, his Zask will prove to be Whoa. so lethal, and Kyrie just ults that one. <laughs> Fractures and Nightmare Spawn. Yeah. As we saw earlier, it does give you a small amount of gold, so mm. technically, Fnatic Onik can kind of try and abuse that. Looking at the gold difference, though, Nino and Roundel actually doing a bit better. So the laners are definitely strong in the early game. But when they group up together, Fnatic Onyx still has a bit of the advantage. What can Nino do here? Because he is in a, a weird spot where he's also an engaged tool technically with the Electal Final Blow and the Petrify. But he also needs to kind of dive in and wait around. The turtle spawn this time around the dance. Will it be as sweet as it was for Fnatic Onyx looking for a pull, but this time in the back line? See her. Sans with the flanks. Oh, oh freaking potion! Finds one, but now also finds a turtle. Good knockup by Keyboy. Another round. Oh, oh and Owen flickers out, but Rondo secures with P. Sans Tere will find Nile here in the midst of it all. No cover whatsoever. Niles falls oh. the second time. Keyboy trying to sustain the damage from Nino, but Nino will not be able to assassinate Keyboy. Great jungle fight by Altrigo. The retribution from Nile here, absolutely on point. He is however giving up his life to try and get this advantage though you can see that Kyrie yeah. is already a level ahead he's getting a bit more advantage there and in the mid game where the Lord starts spawning that could be a very important situation a very important factor looking at the items Enchanted Talisman for Sun so he's gonna be spamming out a lot of those spells whereas for Rondo not having a lot of mana issues he'll be going for the glowing one which will be great to reduce the shielding from the Harith yeah. uh, from the from Sun's nether realm and also for the regeneration that look people will have on this Edith that anti heal so early in the game aggressive build coming in from Roundel but it's all it's very very good for him because he will be one of the main damage dealers as well for Ultra Ego and off though for Fnatic Onik Waiting on a momentum that could basically swing the game around. Kyrie 1v1! That's Nino! Woo! Ooh, the two assassins there, top lane. <laughs> Almost. Nino got taken down, but take a look at Alter Ego. Proactiveness towards the bottom side. The cross map play. And they found they find the first structure. No, the second structure in the game. Oh, conceal play. I don't know if they wanna... From the bushes. They wanna take this Whoa. chance. They won't. 
And Fnatic Onyx, they will just be waiting in the wings. Luffy almost gets an Earth Shadow play though, but Owen, looking very confident, just using all the spells uh -huh. without confirmation, right? Go using it blind. Would have been a cool moment if it does land, <laughs> but now without the ammo planet for a couple more seconds, there can be a chance for Fnatic Onyx to get control as Keyboy gets a pickup. Oh, it's good to see the hammer. That will beat Owen. Burst it down. The last turtle now in play. Oh, um, uh, Fnatic Onyx, we have more control. Now looking for an opening an angle, but Keyboy oh. just denies. Even with the implosion, spent as well. Kyrie finds a turtle Double. now. Turtle oh. well. Pop! Swellbill, good night. The backside highs will find a way, but no, Keyboy will be the trade. You know, looking for a kill. Also, Rookie does not find it. As Alterigo will not be able to close the gap. Oh, Nino gets out quick. That was Fnatic on it, quick on the trigger as well. Just looking to finish the turtle, and then they straight went back with another round till in the pockets of Sans. That was insane. Fnatic Onyx stood there and tanked up the whole Dominator's descent from Roundel and then used the Netherrealm to completely just rush over him. Owen now trying to disrupt the purple buff take. Seems like Onyx will have that under control. Look at Nino though. Already making a move in the far side. Oh. Like a pick attack. Really? I'm offended. It's a good hammer though, but Keyboy will be melted down by Heise. And that's the first good trade there by Alter Ego. Apart from the turtle take, they've been losing fights. Great play by Alter Ego. The single target damage for them is off the charts. And they recognize that Burst is their issue. Now rushing the Winter Crown. That is peculiar. Oh! oh. <laughs> Again, it's an Assassin versus Assassin. Not the Jungler via Jungler though, but Nino will have to back away the second time. Nino just going at it with Kyrie. And most of the times, Kyrie looks like he will come out as the victor. Thankfully, Nino still able to gatekeep himself. Now, the question is, does Nino look comfortable in this Benedetta? He seems to be doing pretty decent almost, but look, hang on a minute, looping. Oh, well, face checking, punished again! This wow. time, another round pops. Now, Chairman Force CW. will punish Owen! CW hitting Implosion, no, Kyrie invested as well. Kyrie with the flanks, good. By Nile, Kyrie again, he is still strong, wants to find round with Ooh. the back Nino from the oh. flanks. Goodbye, Sans. Kai finds the shutdown and the triple kill. Alter Ego, they are answering back. A great decisive play by Altrigo, getting the burst down immediately onto Keyboy. Oh, look at Heiz. Oh, he does not know. But oh, Heiz is there, but Kyrie will still secure the purple. Oh, but FNOC again. They are at ship gear five now with the Lord Tick. CW trying to zone out Heiz. Lord Tick should be, yeah, uncontested. Oh. Altrigo a little bit late. Good decision making coming in from Fnatic Onyx, but a pull from Owen. Oh! oh. 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 Oh my lord! No. Oh, wow! Oh, no. Kind of, you know, CC immune. Anything at their disposal will be used to its maximum potential. And they're good at moving forwards. They're also good at adapting and moving backwards when necessary as well. That is the thing that makes it so difficult for a team. And then Giation, will we see someone fall down? Oh, let's see here. Look, we're still alive. And I guess there will be no more engages for now. All right. No idea what happened during the whole break, but now Fnatic Onyx. Sky Piercer on Sky Kyrie. Piercer. Lethal amounts of damage. With the Lord pushing on the top side here. Let's see the approach from Fnatic Onyx. Because they have a good team fight composition. But they can also split push if they want to set up Kyrie against Nino. 1v1 though. Oh, it's a volume 3 Assassin versus Whoa. Assassin. Well, strike 3, you're out, Nino. That will be Nino taken down. Get out of here, Nino. <laughs> but look, Kyrie leaving the wave. Losing. Potentially losing the turret in the bot side as Alter Ego group for the Lord. Look at Keyboy deterring from the side, threatening some kind of engage. But with Roundo picking up the Divine Glaive, that's gonna be a play with Luffy. Yes, for Spear Round from already invested just to yeah make Luffy back away. Oh, in the mid side, in the mid lane, actually. Oh, oh. needs to be careful. CW deals a lot of damage already. And that will be the first Lord taking care of top lane. The Sans though, looking for a window top lane perhaps, but no. FNOC will have to be satisfied with just taking the outer turrets. Yeah, Keyboy was looking for that flank play, but the fight didn't really break out. And thankfully CW up there, or, or down there rather, trying to take down the turret because like how Arashi mentioned, Kyrie left that wave, skipped that wave, which made Fnatic Onyx, uh, Fnatic Onyx turret now very, very fragile down bottom. 
it was taken out because the Empowered Waves were still pushing, and Fnatic Onyx were setting up in the jungle of Alter Ego. So indirectly, they were ensuring that that minion wave will take the turret out in the bottom side. Now it's back to the waiting game. The Lord, in the grand scheme of things, have been dealt with relatively well by Alter Ego. Still hanging on to a lot, to all of their secondary turrets actually. So the jungle still isn't really open for invasions for Fnatic Onyx. But you can see Keyboy already eyeing an opportunity. They know mm. that Nino wants to be aggressive, wants to make the plays, so they keep looking for him whenever he's pushing out. Yeah, no, Nino has been very uh, spacing out the side lanes, trying to activate the far lanes to keep the pressure going, having to force Fnatic Onyx to at least allocate a single member to bounce the waves back towards the base of Ultra Ego. And now they look to siege the bottom side turret. Looks like a fight's gonna break out soon, and that has to be from an initiation coming in from Owen, but all still good Kyrie in the flanks. Mm -hmm. Kyrie though will back away here. They want to contest the purple Ooh. buff, I believe. Alter Ego will try to blitz the purple out, meanwhile, so no. The answer is no, let's not force it. Let's just focus on managing the wave top lane. Well, the top side though, turret falls for Fnatic yeah. Onyx. Uncharacteristic from the Sky Kings. They don't usually allow such uh, situations to happen. You know, pushing out the wave is gonna be a big breakout fight. Oh, play! Oh, that's a pull! On towards Loopy. Loopy pulls out a early flicker here before the Lord fights. Zero. Now Sans will try to pull Nile. And let's see, Gary oh. will blitz the Lord. That is Alter Ego now looking for the fights. Keyboard provides cover here. Remember, Realm pops her as well. And Alter Ego will have uh, no trade, no compensation from that Lord Take. Great move from Onyx to just go and straight, to go and straight up take the objectives. They know that Alter Ego is concerned about Kyrie, especially with his power spikes, with the Sky Piercer, and reaching level 15. So they're gonna move a bit more tentatively through the jungle, and they know that they can put Keyboy and Lutpi there, and Alter Ego can't really risk walking in without checking it out slowly. So they take away the Lord, and they also avoid the 5v5 fight that Alter Ego desperately wants. This is a stronger Lord, and Fnatic Onyx most likely will be able to orchestrate a three-lane push and take out some of these turrets. Yeah, but Nino is still there as the pesky player who will try to catch the waves, but the Lord crashes to the mid-side turret, and now possibly seeking out to just destroy the base turret might make this wide open for Alpha Ego, but for Fnatic Onyx, they're still waiting for the trigger to pull. Look at Nino look, doing heavy work up top, just trying to relinquish that wave potentially up top, and Fnatic Onyx waiting to pull the trigger this time. Yeah, oh! I mean, that's a nice assignation there by Kyrie. Fnatic Onyx still has the flicker and implosion with the Lord, but they will find the base turret top bottom lane. Now, Nile in trouble. Spear of Alpha desperately and a CW will find that kill. Alter Ego defends with three. Fnatic Onyx, they have no minions just yet, though. What will they do? They will maintain pressure in the base of Alter Ego. Now, waiting for that mid wave to crash. No, uh, Nino, Owen, and as well as Highs. Can they clear this? Oh, oh the player oh. in play. Owen will fall. Now they want to find that the base should be their main target. CW finds a triple. Looking for the main react, but the base will fall first. Ladies and gentlemen, Fnatic on it finds game one. The Sky Kings, they silence the chaos in the hands of Alter Ego. They take game number one in such convincing fashion, but it was very scrappy in the early game. Oof. For both teams, was looking kind of intense, but we talked about this. The longer the game goes, the more chance there is for Fnatic Onyx to try and make those plays with the big team fights really work in their favor. That Nether Realm really made it almost impossible for Rondo and Heist to really output enough damage to shut down everyone especially with the lower usage with the wind.